How to add a product to your Shopify store. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how you can add products to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first step to add a product onto your Shopify store is to log on to your Shopify dashboard. Now, whenever you are launching products or adding products, you have to ensure that your listing is complete and you have to make sure that you're adding it as an active product and then you're setting up shipping for your products as well. So we're going to cover everything. So to get started, click on products on the left. Once you click on products, click on add products and you can begin adding your product. However, if you are someone that already has a list of products and you want to do bulk import, you can click on import and then you can add a CSV file. However, before you add your own CSV file, I recommend downloading their sample CSV. This will show you how you should be adding data so that it is translated correctly or perfectly into Shopify. Now let's add our first product. First off, you're going to add the title of your product. So let's say this is going to be our matte liquid lippy. And then after that, you're going to add your description. Usually within the description, if it's clothing, you write the materials. If it is makeup, you write the ingredients and so on and so forth. You usually also have some type of copyright that you want to include in this. If you're not sure what type of copyright you should write or if you haven't written it already you can click on the sparkling icon this is shopify's ai based tool that can help you in generating product descriptions so choose a specific tone that you want let's say i want a playful tone and then i want to add the features and keywords for my product so a matte liquid lipstick that provides hydration with hyaluronic acid and stays for over six hours and then i'm just going to click on generate over here and the description will be generated and then i'm just going to click on keep to add this as the description once you've added your description you can scroll down and upload the media this is going to be any of the product images or product videos click on upload new to upload the images and then you're just going to select them so I'm just going to open up the product images that I do have. And if you have multiples of your product, for example, you have multiple different colors, you can add those as well. So I'm going to be uploading two distinct colors like this. And you guys will see that instead of having just one product, this is two products, which means I have two variants of my liquid lipstick. So after that, I'm going to scroll down and add the pricing. Let's say it's $10 and I don't want to charge taxes. And then if you want to calculate your profits, you can also add the cost per item. I'm just going to add this as $20 and the cost is $10. Below that, you have your inventory. So you can choose to track your inventory, especially if you are using Shopify in your POS as well. You can track inventory if you're using it just as a online partner only, then it's still pretty helpful to ensure inventory. So I am going to add the number of units I have. So let's say I have 10,000 units. And then after that, we have the physical weight of the product. So let's say it is in terms of pounds, and it's 0.2 pounds or even less than that, 0.02 pounds, maybe more. Let's say it's 0.5 because I might have packaging weight. And then after that, you have variants. So you're going to click on variants over here. And then I can add any type of variant on Shopify. Right now, Shopify has made it really easy to add your own variant. So if you have things like cosmetic finishes, product certifications, textures, or different types of packaging that you might be offering. You can add all of that as a variant. However, I want to add color as a variant. So first off, by default, it has selected brown, which I'm going to edit. And I'm going to change this into coral. And then I'm going to click on the color. And I'm going to select the color from here, like this. And once I've selected the color... I'm just going to leave it and then you can select the base color that it lies in. So the base color that it lies in is orange and then the base pattern is solid. And then I'm just going to click on add color and that is going to be maroon because those are the two colors that I have for my particular product. Then click on done. 
Now, if your product has multiple variations, so even if I have cosmetic finish variations, I can click on add another option and I can add that as a separate option. Below that, you have to then edit the number of available units. So now I have to change this to 5,000 for each color that I have or however many you have of each color. Then click on your variant and click on the image section here. Over here, you're going to select the relevant image that relates to that particular variant to ensure that whenever someone clicks on the variant types, they are able to see what variant they are purchasing. Once completed, you will see at the bottom you have your search engine listing. So this is how your particular product is going to appear on search engines, so you can customize this as well. Then on the top right, you will see the status as well as the product organization. So this is a product that is going to fall under our makeup category and I want to add this to our homepage collection and I can just add it to other collections later on because I haven't built any yet. But I'm going to add lipstick and lip as the tags and then I'm just going to click on save and just like that our first product has been added. So we're just going to wait for this and then once this has been added, we can move towards our second part which is going to be setting up the basics of shipping. So now if I go onto products over here and I view the product, it is live on my Shopify store. However, your shipping standards might be different for different regions and you might want to customize this a bit. So to be able to customize this a bit, you're going to go on to your Shopify dashboard and alter your shipping settings. So whenever you have a new Shopify store, it does not have shipping set up. You have to set this up by yourself and you have to customize it based upon regions. If you have domestic shipping, international shipping, and if your domestic shipping costs the same in your entire region, or if different states are going to be charged differently based upon their taxes or based upon how far they are from your warehouses. So to do all of that, you can click on settings on the bottom left. Once you do that, you will see shipping and delivery on the left. Now, over here in shipping and delivery, you have a section where it says your general shipping rates. Click on those and once you do that, you will have domestic and international shipping rates and this can also be displayed individually for product. So if you have larger products or if you're selling larger ticket items like furniture, then your shipping rates might vary depending on the size of the product. So this can be one way for you to set up your own customized shipping. But I'm going to add a standard shipping rate for our domestic shipping, which is going to be for all of our standard products. So I'm going to add the price. Let's say it's $2 and the rate name is going to be flat shipping rate. And then I'm going to click on done or you can just call the standard shipping. And I'm going to delete the standard shipping like this. And then after that, I'm going to click on go to markets at the bottom. Once I do that, I can build different international markets that I'm selling my products in and then set up individual shipping rates for individual markets. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.